the making the transition from uh, football to MMA was a, a, it's a funny story for me because I had a, a a football coach that kind of tricked me into it. Um, so I had wrestled, I had an extensive wrestling background. I started when I was four years old, wrestled all the way through nationals, and I had to make a, the choice between um, football and wrestling in, in college, and I decided that I wanted to have fun in college, and I knew cutting weight um, wasn't going to mix well with you know partying and, and, and living the college experience, so I decided to play football. Well, the, the coach I had was actually from my area um, in Ohio, and he knew I had a big wrestling background, so he had me start doing kickboxing and uh, Western-style boxing uh, for conditioning on the off-seasons. And then when I graduated, he kind of just took me to an MMA smoker, which means you have like three or four MMA fights in one night. It's when MMA was still fresh and new. Um, he kind of just pushed me out there and said, all right, use your wrestling. We, I taught you how to defend yourself using kickboxing, so use your wrestling to win. Uh, went out there like 42 seconds later. Uh, it was a first-round knockout, and I was addicted ever since he, he didn't have to say another word I was like when's the next one when can I play again I knew I, ha I, I had a, a good skill set for the sport it wasn't until um, I, I was fighting an amateur year-long tournament so they had a quarter kind of similar to the ultimate fighter where they have a quarterfinals uh, semifinal and at the end of the year you fight uh, in the finals well my my fiance now um, she actually came and watched me fight my first quarterfinal fight and it was kind of a setup fight. I got called on three days' notice. I didn't really know a whole lot about it, the, the opponent. I went out there, ended up submitting the guy in the second round, and Elizabeth, my, my girlfriend, was like, okay, if you win this tournament, we need to kind of pull back. Because I had a job, I had a corporate job working behind a desk. And she was like, you, got, you need to pull back on your work hours because I think this could be a, a career avenue for you. So um, once she gave me the nod and go ahead, uh, it was full force ever since then. It's my mom and my my mom and my grandmother aren't happy. They uh, they're still wondering why I have a college degree and I'm not using it. So um, to me, uh, I finally kind of got it through got it through their head that like fighting is what makes me feel alive. Um, there's nothing more basic or primal than our fight or flight mechanism as a human. So to be able to touch into that on a daily basis, uh, it kind of gives me that energy to live. And now that I felt that, um, it, it's kind of hard to, to step away from it because now I can I really know what it feels like to be, um, you know, I mean, I'm more in touch with my my human or my species than most people are. So it's hard to get away from that.